Hey guys, so I did tell you guys that we will be going over different parts of homeschooling um, little by little. So I'm going to do budgeting in this video and then the next one will be um, talking a little bit more in detail about choosing a curriculum. So budgeting, I know it gets us all very much... I don't know, worried, anxiety, do we have enough money? Can we afford things? Um, I just wanna say that as a single mom, I get it. <laughs> One, I get it because, you know, working three jobs is tough at times, but also, you know, not everyone can afford the same things and that's okay. But the great thing about homeschooling, especially in New York State, is it doesn't matter how much money you put into your education because they can still get an amazing education on a zero dollar budget which is totally doable now what is budgeting here's the definition budgeting is an estimation of revenue and expenses over a specified future period of time and it is usually utilized by governments businesses and ind individuals etc um, so I just want to say you need to look at your own, what you can afford, what you can't afford. Um, there are, we're going to talk about it, but there are curriculums for every budget, whether you want to spend nothing to if you want to spend thousands of dollars. And yes, I see people do it all the time. And quite frankly, um, nothing against those people, but it's just, it's very, um, cringy because you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on one year's curriculum you really don't and most of the time those people end up pretty much wasting it because they end up switching curriculums anyway so going cheaper um going a little bit more affordable is way better um better curriculums overall um but we're also going to be budgeting for a few different things and we're going to talk about that right now So what are we budgeting for? We're budgeting for a curriculum if you plan on using a set curriculum. And again, we're going to go more into detail a little bit later. You're going to budget for supplies you may need, meaning um, do you need paper? Do you need art supplies? Are you getting um, board games? Um, just any sort of supplies you may need over the, over the year. Uh, it does not need to be set aside right this second, but I wait for... Uh, deals or I wait for coupons I'll talk about that in just a little bit um, but you can uh, there's just so much that you can use that you are probably already have around your house I will say that um, maybe you want to do a co-op or a class or hire a tutor so you'll need money for that that's not necessary but again we'll go into a little bit more detail and then you're also want to gonna uh, you're gonna want to budget for field chips that you may take um so let's get into a little bit more detail about each part of these um budget points Okay, so I have the next video that will be coming out will be about the curriculum in detail. Um, but there are curriculums to fit every budget. There are free curriculums. There are very expensive curriculums, like I mentioned. Um, you can buy used curriculums, you know, especially of their, those more expensive ones. A lot of people tend to resell their books um, or workbooks or whatever. Um, there's... Um, you can create your own curriculum or you can unschool, which are very similar, but not quite. And, uh, again, I'll talk about that in the next video, but just to show you a range, there are curriculums that go from literally $0. It costs you nothing to $5 to around 20, 25. That's pretty typical to a couple hundred, 200, 300, um, 500, even depending on the workbooks. And then up to thousands of dollars, I mean, two, three, four thousand dollars per year. Again, what you can afford is completely personal. Um, but being a single parent, not being able to afford as much as, you know, I would hope. I don't even care about those big curriculums. I actually unschool, which we'll talk about. But 
Um, I create my own on the fly, but I create my own and it's okay because it works for us. Now supplies. I kind of mentioned some things that you will need. Um, I realize I have a spelling mistake there, but you're going to, I suggest, I suggest you have a good printer. Uh, if you have access to a library or someone that can print things off for you, that is great. I love having a printer though. I can print things off on the fly, especially um, artwork sheets or whatever we tend to plan on doing last minute. Uh, art supplies, I feel like that's a must. Um, he has pencils and pens and crayons um, and I mean my kid is supplied up the wazoo and this is over a collection of seven years you know so we've been collecting over the years um notebooks I get on sale I mean they're really cheap but I get a couple of notebooks uh my uh he has an iPad which you don't need screen time you don't need a tv or anything I like to have all that um again we've had it over the years we we have hand-me-downs we buy used there's just so much uh that you can use that you may already have. And like I said, that's what I do. Um, or I've collected it over the years. I People give give me free stuff. Or um, you know, I see it in certain groups. And I'm like, yes, that'll work for XY project. Or lesson. Or whatever it is. Um, so really see what you have around the house. What will you need for the lessons. Depending on what you plan on doing. And then go from there. If you don't have a printer... Or you don't want a printer, that's okay. Like, I just, my suggestion, um, ha after having a lot of experiences. Okay, so co-ops, classes, or a tutor. Look, it's not necessary. Co-ops, you trade teaching typically with um, other parents. So, it's usually a little bit of money. It depends on the co-op. Maybe you put out ahead of time, like, three hundred four hundred dollars for the year or maybe you budget it per class or per month whatever it is and then you trade places and that's to get all the supplies um it will vary on your co-op that you join or you create or whatever it may be and then there's classes where maybe you guys take soccer class or you um take a forest school or maybe you're doing something completely different like a cooking class Again, classes vary in range. Um, one of our classes is quite expensive, but it's over 53 weeks worth of work. So that's a good over a year, right? Um, and to me, that's fine. There's also free or low cost classes on OutSchool and Varsity Tutors. Um, and if your kid is struggling a little bit more, maybe you hire a tutor, a private tutor, but most either hire a tutor for 100% of the time or they don't use a tutor at all, um, at least not in elementary. So just be aware of those things. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. If you feel like you need it, you know, try to figure out the budget for it. I will say out school and varsity tutors has a lot of good options though. And then there's field trips. Uh, obviously, not everyone can go on field trips. Some are very costly. Some take, like, you need um, a car or you need to be able to take the train. We're also in the middle of a pandemic right now. So I realize that. Just, I'm aware. Uh, normally, and I'm talking non-pandemic, normally there's a lot of places that have a free day or very uh, big discounts for homeschooling groups. Um if you're in the city, I highly suggest Nychia. We get discounts. Um, but I also see what days are free. Like the the Bronx Zoo was Wednesdays. I don't know if they switch it to Fridays. I know the Natural History Museum was pay by donation. So I usually paid a dollar or two per person. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other places or cheap field trips that we do. Right now, because of the pandemic, we're mostly going to farms. Uh, even, I'm upstate right now, even around here, a lot of the places are closed. So, all the museums that I had planned or all the little things that I had planned, I can't do right now. So, instead, we are doing virtual tours. Some are free. Most are free, actually. Um, a couple do special tours for $10 per group, which isn't that bad. 
I do have a large list on my website. You guys can check it out. I'll be posting more. Um, I am trying to divide it by subject for you guys to make it easier to search, but I do have zoos and aquariums, I believe, up as well. Um, so just let me know if you're looking for something in particular, and I will let you know what I have or what's available for you guys on that. Okay, so I did mention that there are some discounts and there are places where you can get, um, uh, there's sales or there's coupons, things like that. Michael's has a lot of different coupons, like daily. It's ridiculous how much I get um, about that. I love Michael's. They have science kits and they have um, baking and art and all sorts of things. You can get it on sale. You can get it, you know, clearance, whatever. I I love them. Target too. Target has a bunch of things. I generally go as needed, um, but they're usually low cost anyway. Barnes and Nobles, I do have a homeschooling discount as an educator. And then I also get good deals at Walmart and Dollar Tree as well. Now, remember, it's okay. I buy used things or I get things for free that people are giving away in my neighborhood as needed. Check those Facebook um, marketplace. You never know what you'll find or, you know, in local groups. And then just the last piece of reminder is you don't need a lot for your homeschooling. You don't need to have a specific room. You can get very creative and still have fun. All those rooms look really pretty, but it's rare that everyone can have that and that's totally okay. I'll see you guys for the curriculum.